Hello, Senior Stoner fans. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you for uh, another edition of Cooking with Senior Stoner. Today, we're going to be making butter. And I want to demonstrate a couple of the things we're going to do. We're using our Levo oil machine. For, excuse me. We're using our Levo oil machine, which we've already used and found to be very, very good. So let's begin. We're going to use two sticks of butter. What you need to do with two sticks of butter is quarter them. You'll open them and then quarter them. And then you put them into the Levo cup. I'll show you how to do that as we take the wrapping off the butter. Here's your Levo cup, which I've already installed the stirrer and the tube. You put that back into the Levo machine so it fits in nice and tight. And you quarter your butter into four pieces, according to the instructions on the Levo website, and throw it in. You take the second piece, you want 16 ounces, you want, uh, excuse me, you want two sticks of butter, is what you want to use for this recipe. Okay, that's it. Okay, let it sit there for a second. Then you take your flour, take your flour, and I would crumble it down, not too fine. They say not to use too fine because you want surface area. For this, you need to have surface area. And let's see what kind of weed I'm using today. I'm using Nightmare Chem, which is a very nice indica strain. I used blueberry for the first batch of butter I made. We're gonna try this now. So you crumble it down. I try to take as many stems out, but I don't know if you really have to do that. I'm kind of trained that way to clean my weed. I don't know if you have to, probably not. I've heard stories of people making tea out of stems. So then you take it and you pack it down into the container. Pack it down. They want you to pack it down nice and tight. They say use seven grams. They say use quarter ounce. I did not measure. Um, I'm doing it by volume. I want to do what feels good to get into the container and I'll show you the top of the container in a second. So I packed it pretty good here. You don't want it too fine because it will come out into your particular uh, infusion. So here's what it looks like when it's capped. Now you take the yellow top and put that on. What I would do is wash your hands after you've done that. Take a paper towel and wipe the side. Remember, you don't want to have weed coming through. The idea is to not make this with the Levo machine the same way as you would make it with the Magic Butter Maker. So there's a spot where it says, put it here for the unit. You put that pouch right where it says to put it. Make sure your butter's all the way down as far as it'll go. And close the top. It will lock. Okay? Then you want to move things away. Now you're dealing just with the lever. In order to turn it on, you hit the power button and pull down. And you will see Levo. It will say Levo. Okay, then you can set your temperature. I'm going to go for about 175 degrees. I'm gonna to go to 185 degrees actually. And I want time of two hours. So I'm gonna to go to two hours. You're gonna say, how did I know this? Trial and error so far, so good. So it's on for two hours. And all you gotta do now is press the button and watch it cook. Now, there is a noise that this emits. Uh, type of noise, and it might scare animals. Sugar is not fond of it. So what I do when I'm using it, uh, I put it in the garage. And I have a large extension cord in the garage that my son ran for me, so I use it over there. I don't recommend using it if you have an animal nearby. They will not like it. So this is going to be Senior Stoner's cooking studio, butter with the Levo machine. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll bring you back later when it's real butter. 
Cheers.